Especially are we appreciative of the $9 million grant from the U.S. Department of Education in 1984 for the splendid facility which you have dedicated to Tuskegee's new aerospace science engineering program, the only one of its kind at an historically black university. This new career opportunity continues a long-standing commitment at Tuskegee to prepare our students to enter the mainstream of the American economy. We owe you, Mr. President, a special debt of gratitude for this and other support that you have given Tuskegee University during your administration. We honor ourselves as we acknowledge your abiding interest in the advancement of higher education in the United States and of this university in particular. Therefore, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Tuskegee University, I confer upon you the honorary degree, Doctor of Laws, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. And in token thereof, I award you this diploma. Peyton, I'm greatly honored and I thank you. I do have to say, though, you have compounded a sense of guilt that I have carried for 55 years. I always thought the first one they gave me was honorary. <laughs> President Payton, I have the honor to present the candidate for the 1987 Alumni Merit Award. In Alma Mata, a daughter whose strength is her pride. As the man whose memory we honor today rose to great eminence, you were a partner during his every advance.
and read it to you. And I can't tell you, I can't tell you how happy I am that you're here, but I thought with this particular crowd that you might drop in by parachute. Bob, I'll leave that to the experts. If I tried that, I might have landed on your birthday cake. <laughs> yeah, the seat of government would have icing all over it, huh? <laughs> but, you know, it's great to have you here. I'm just sorry Nancy isn't with you. Well, I was going to ask her, but I was afraid she'd just, just say no. <laughs> I want to tell you, Mr. President, with all the travel and all the work you've done, you look just great. Well, Bob, you, Bob, you, you look great too. You do. Well, I hope I, I hope look I'm that good when, when I'm, I'm your age. age. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Bob is looking back worse. <laughs> Robert, I just want to say something to all these people here. And that is that I'm sure that many of them know this has been a career with you on birthdays, on holidays of all kinds, dating clear back to the draft days before World War II. You were out entertaining our people in uniform. And then through three wars, through three wars, you went wherever our fighting men and women were to bring a little touch of home to them. And you left and you were there and now we're at peace and you're still doing it. And I think it's, it's just great of you. But also, I would like to say on behalf of your audience, nothing in the job I have has made me more proud than these young men and women in uniform. down there with a the queue. How about that? You ready? Let's Thank you very much for coming. You've given us all a great thrill. Where are you off to now? Bob, I don't know whether I can do it with a musical background. 
I gotta talk and dance at the same time. No. Bob, in, in my lapel is a button. I have just come from Tuskegee University for their commencement over there, and where a gentleman named General Daniel Cappy James was being honored today. No kidding. His widow was there. Yes. Great, yeah. man. Great man. Right. And you all, you all can't see it, but there's a button here in my lapel, and it says that I am an honorary Tuskegee Airman. Washington. <laughs> but just before I leave, I just wanted to tell a little story that I thought they might be interested in. You know, Bob does have time to have some fun other than just entertaining like this. Now, for example, in out there nights, I should say, he dreamed of number five. So he went to the track when it opened, and he went right down the program to the fifth race, and then to the number five horse in the fifth race, and it was named Five by Five. He bet the bundle on it. The horse came in fifth. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I remember, I remember when you gave me a tip years ago at the Kentucky Derby. It's the first horse I ever saw make a pit stop. <laughs> anyway, it's a thrill to have you here. You've thrilled a lot of people here, and they've been waiting for you, as I told you, since 10 o'clock, and you're awful good to show up. Bob, thank you for what you continue to do for all these young people, and thank all of you for what you continue to do for our country. Yeah.